Theorycraft. I mean, I think you're starting to see just the, the evidence of that. He's like, okay, if I keep throwing this util set that you're looking at right there on Hampus's screen, as long as we have one person set up by the time it's fade, fading into that red room, it's just a question of when you choose to push. You it's know, like it's powerful. so much power. And you can turn, I reckon, even 3v5s on the regular over in your favor if you lock that down and have access into the site. You just start po poking B. Oh, and poking A is Rops. He's pushed the A halls. He's been spotted out, though, and that kind of cancels his plan. Well, that could be one of the changes here that Maus are looking for, right? If they know that they're going to get the room to push A, we've seen Rops do it once. He's gone to do it twice. That yeah. information might be something that Maus sports have identified in the lead up to this matchup. Now, they've had a week and a bit to look at NIP's Ancient. Maybe even their Vertigo, considering their pick. Yeah, it's uh, an interesting one, right? Obviously, the draws were only done Sunday night, so you weren't too certain on who you're playing here, but I'm sure Maus were quite intently watching. Yeah, I mean, Mao's Vertigo record is, is, is one in its own. I think, in fact, that in the three games that they've played and lost, they've got a grand total of 18 rounds. And yet here to punish the NIP boys, Vito's, hello, Rez, nice little knock off the head, and that rest should fall into place nicely. Not much a P250 and an Armored Deke should have to say in this one now with the bomb going down. A course sprayed down and Rez looking very effective on that AK-47. Yeah, I know it's against an eco here. You brought it up before, uh, Petter from HLTV, talking about how Rez, out of the 120 players within the group, there should be devices every other week, see you later, uh, was the lowest rated in terms of uh, finding entries. Yeah. Uh, so uh, NIP were also with that ranked 21st out of 24 teams in, uh, in, in that field, I believe. Uh, I, I want to reread it. it sounds like they've sure been doing it, it the hard way, though. I mean, it, the fact that they made it, right, yeah. I think uh, is a surprise to everybody. But I, I feel that that conversation is very similar to have a mouse and not a single kit in sight. Let's get into it. Round seven, big one, and NIP. It looked like they're going to show us exactly how effective a B take can look. Oh, Acor disrupts a quick peek straight down the ramp, and Hampus forced to watch the rest of this one. Yeah, well, Hampus is the most aggressive part of this NIP roster here, so let's see how they operate when he's out of the equation. Towards mid, they're about to rumble. Another smoke for Cave, and well, that forces NIP elsewhere. Frozen is the man with the plan over towards Donut. And Bemis is getting very cheeky here, just seeing if he can exploit any of those tiny gaps for information. Won't get anything for his troubles. There you are, of course. The entire squad out of a choke point like this, silently crouching their way down. <laughs> Oh, well, there, the jig is up. Frozen spots him out. Summons Rops into a passive plateau setup. A crossfire now established between the two sharpest tools Ooh, in the mouse board shared. Quick. He's there, just in the nick of time. Rops across, and actually, he's looked away, averted his gaze. Nothing substantial, nothing concrete in the information at this point. It's Rops, perhaps, to take that first contact. He's been spotted out early, and Frozen has to do it all now. Not going to be easy. 14 bullets left in the mag. Molotov Dow just burning. Takes wow. one with him. Done well to keep it competitive. Linus to be denied. The plant acorn with an infective frag. And poor Plopsky. He's only got 30 seconds now and all of that util starting to fade. He's got to take dry jewels against Orpers. And that doesn't end well. Mouse Sports hold steady. Acor with an impactful rotate as well. Three in that defensive A. Yeah, responded nice there. And you think that the whole plan changed as soon as Hampus died, right? They isolated the fact that the AWP of Acor was over towards B long. So they thought, all right, well, we're just going to give this a miss. We'll give you a replay of this shot because I think this was the most impactful. Uh, this whole scenario here where Frozen got caught and the crossfire for Rops looked a little bit janky, I think that just has to come down to the timing, right? The fact that Frozen, as he's moving into Temple, got spotted. Otherwise, he maybe just holds that line. So there's that Molly again. Here we go. Round number eight getting underway. Hampus out mid immediately taking well, a bunch of damage down to 51. Sorry, 49. Oh, 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 oh boost. 51. Yeah, Hampus surely going to be booked on this one if it... I say he could be booked. Maybe mouse spots are vulnerable if there's a sound cue heard. He's walked straight into a oh. Misses his shot. Hampus gets a second chance. He's pinned now, though. Are they going to try to isolate him? Bemis' gimmick has gotten him some info and... Looks like Plopsky returning the favor, just spanking his bottom on the way out. They, they know Hampus is here, right? So how many members are they going to have watching this? Dexter wants to clear him out. He yeah, really, really wants to get this frag. Get this rat out of the system now. Because otherwise, this is exactly what NIP have been fishing for. Like This is their dream mid-round. You've got four set up with B control and util. Hampus has his red room here. They come from every they angle. They know he's on the left. Every angle. Ah, oh, oh, fine. No worries, Frozen solved the problem and the rest of the ninjas are all coming in. Single file, some util deployed. Acor with the disruptive smoke dropped. 
Do you have to go through that? Flashes better be good. Beamers does lose vision, but from behind, he should strike and he's good for it. And that's a solid CT shutout. NIP keep, kept very honest in these last two. Yeah, that one right there all just comes down to the cat and mouse game of Hampus pushing top mid, right? So they isolate the fact that he's there and then they take the risk because Frozen had to walk through middle with his back turned. You know, that, that, that's a gamble right there. That there's nobody mid, there's nobody swinging out from the ledge position. And at this moment, Dexter immediately starts rotating over towards B. There's good stop utility coming out of Mouse here to make this push up through the B ramp position even more difficult. And they walk away with an important one because that sends NIP back down to just these pistols. Yeah, and really cool. I mean, I know it seems simple when you're watching it play out, but Acor dropping that smoke at the mouth of ramp and having Beamus just play close to it, He's A, able to play anti-flash safely, and B, it's just that temporary wall for him to hide behind as they exec through. Really nice. Here he is again. Yeah, Beamus could have some potential to play. Plompsky's going to start playing with that gap now. All too aware of yeah, Beamus and his uh, power positions. I suppose if, you, if, it, if you're a professional player and that's your new spot in the map. As soon as any developments are made, you see one player doing something you weren't doing, you are going to dig deeply into that. Yeah, you got to be on top of that type of stuff here. And well, there you go, Dexter with the opener. That's the little flash wombo combo you're going to see in mid a lot. Dexter for Frozen, Frozen for Dexter. They'll be helping each other out here. And then I feel this is a perfect position for BMAS. For somebody who's a rookie like he is, who's just a bit of an aimer, you put him in a spot and you say, just put your crosshair here. And when their heads come in front, just click, click. mouse one. Right? That's, that's what we're looking for, BMAS. It's obviously quite a technical position when you're talking about those gaps and the timings. Um, but for due to the T's smoking it off themselves, you get an extra 20 seconds on holding that position. You know they're not coming. You get to set up, right? So oh, yeah. it's actually quite the luxury for BMS here. Yeah, and I mean, unless he's playing in Gambit, he'd have probably have three other players with him in that cave position. Something that was interesting that stood out to me was Gambit's um, belief that playing and holding the site from that cave position as a unit. Oh, hey, cool. their solution. I can't believe he's gone down to the spray there. Oh, dear. Uh, this is getting real problematic now. They've tried to make a move for info, but now BMAS is isolated. That means Dex is the lone man on this B bomb site. Yeah, he's going to have to do an awful lot with this one. He's going to get walked on as well. Device creeping up already. Oh, that might save him. Yeah, maybe. At least for the reposition, there's a little gap around for the peak. And oh, that's the end of Dexter. That could be the end of the B site as well. Two picks across the map and NIP profiting from their earlier adventures. I, I don't want to be pointing fingers, right? That's not the intention of what I'm doing here, but in two of these key rounds, right? Obviously the pistol upgrade round the NIP one was Hampus taking Acor out, pushing middle. And this time around it was Hampus through the smoke. Uh, this has been us getting some exits alongside of Rops here. They won't be going for this one. They'll just be holding onto their goodies. Playing the long game right now, Maus. And five on the T side for NIP. That's pretty good so far, right? The, as far as Ancient in its development is going, this map uh, has a bit of a CT side of bias. You gave me a really easy to digest perspective on it when you looked and compared it to, was it the train and nuke stats? That it was like around 53, 54, like it was just beneath uh, traditional train. Yeah, I think I started looking at like historical, yeah. um, but then I narrowed it a bit more down. Oh, to, like last year or something. Yeah, I tried to narrow it down to just like what's been going on uh, this year. And I think in, in terms of maps, this one is, is in the top three for the conversation of being quite the CT bias uh, up there with the, the nukes. And I think overpass as well as being quite CT bias in this uh, group. Yeah, uh, uh, this pro league. pro league. And I think that's maybe because of like Fanatic, for example, right? You think about how many CT sided rounds they were getting. Uh, but another fun fact with... Um, Both of these squads are looking for a little bit more consistency and redemption. Same utils dumped into middle. We'll see Acor probably playing this one a little differently. And in fact, he has gone over to B early. Having a look at that. Ooh, Demus, good utils. Kept Hampus honest, but I think he'd still be able to get across prior to that smoke fade. Good Ouch. utils set out of Bemus. Keeps him where he wants him. Nades him as it fades. IP have control though, at least of lane and cave. Yeah, and Rops is pushing A again. So this really is becoming a theme right now. Look how far Rops is able to get here and not converting that frag onto Linus. That is a huge hemorrhage on the CT defense. And, and Linus playing his role properly. I mean, that's that's not an easy job to be holding Rops and keeping him caged, but well played. Look at the angle. Device in the shrubbery. Doing a little bit of herb lore. He might get one here, you know. It looks like BMS wants to push. Quite the angle. Oh, he spotted something. <laughs> yeah, between the leaves, between the two ferns. And here comes Zach Galifianakis himself. A fully flashed off Acor. 
dead orb. And then IP, they've still got 45 seconds, just one by one, dispatching of the Swedes. A bad flash, a dead Bemis. And now Frozen and Dex are just looking to try and make this a little more costly for the ninjas. But damn, Rez is not slowing down for anyone. He's up to, what is he now, 14? Yeah. Uh, another triple kill, multi-kill round out of him. He was, before their game against Gambit, he was the second lowest rated player for NIP. That but, surprises me. Yeah, and that was that was one of the things that was lacking, right? And, and I think in Gambit, he showed up in a massive way. You know, we were getting the Rez show, we had Hampus showing up in a big way as well. And now here today, he's clearly here to play. So this is good, right? This is what you want to see from what is your star of the future. NIP just renewed with Rez. Oh my Lord. Straight through the smoke. That's a frag you're happy to take every day of the week. Yeah, and I think just a little bit of excitement there for Hampus as he tries to push and disrespect the CT util. Well, the double orbs are being brought out here. So Rops is holding A with this, and he should be able to get one and four. This is his every day of the week. And oh, the prize scalp takes down Rez. Now it's Mouseport's turn to seize and confer off an early advantage. Linus still holds firm on the a halls He's been all right in some of the clutches, you know. We've seen him. He had that one on four against yeah. Gambit. He had an ancient clutch as well. So let's see. What can he and Device do? Bomb's still available here. It's not like the Mouseport side know that they have it loose right now. And Device says he's noisily back through spawn. The sound bug here won't pay as much as a factor. You don't know, is he going A or is he going B? You just know that there's someone in spawn right now. Oh, you heard those footsteps. Never mind. Frozen's heard that. <laughs> Definitely heard that. He had his uh, paper cup up against the wall. It's like a snake, right? They feel the vibrations. It is very loud. It really does sound like they're actually in donut at times. And Rops has collected the penultimate frag. Oh, it's only device and walks straight on into that AWP. So Rops' AWP is not only known, but good for three. He'll be chucking that back over to Waco. It doesn't look like they can afford to maintain the double AWP presence. I'm surprised, didn't they? They did have a double AWP. Yeah, just not managed to maintain it. Interesting. What, I wonder what happened there. Where, where did it go? I don't know. Did Acor die? I don't think so. Okay, am I tripping? It was two. Acor, maybe it wasn't. No, they, de they definitely had a double AWP set up. I don't know, maybe they're doing something a bit different. Maybe there's a reason for the madness? Yeah, of course there is. It's 6-6. Six, six. NIP already very juicy with a sixth T-round posted. Hampus undeterred by his previous shortcomings. And he gobbles that flash. Dexter sets up Frozen. And oh, and he tames the spray for a second as well. Device scouted out by that gap. Keeps his eye pressed to the scope regardless. And Plopsky's walking straight on into that AWP line. I don't fancy his chances on this one. And wow, good shot out of Dexter. Told of that. Line of snappy onto Rops. He's dancing with this Orpa here. Flash actually looks quite promising. I like the way this man's thinking, but the flank is so quick. He is being pushed on the flash. Perfect from him to try and close and isolate the gap onto Dexter. But from behind, they strike. He does look ready for that. Giving it a solid show. Oh, there's a real conversation change right now. I think if we're keeping tally as well, Device just orbed A core there. So uh, we're getting a head-to-head -head on the orb tool at least. But this is the mid-flash coming out here, setting Frozen up for two big frags. But the conversation will change a little bit now because with the scoreline at 7-6, to six, uh, the money isn't there for NIP to go for a buy. They're going to have to take a save. And you can just see how humble it is. Hampus with a flash, a tech knife for Plopsky, and line us into a deagle. So this should be 8 here for Mouse Sports. They're going to win out the half and well, straight through the molly. They're going to take so much damage. Look at all of this. And they're well, still able to run him down. Yeah, the product of disrespecting the flames is Frozen's caught with a nade in his hand. Rotate on the way. Damage inflicted, but Ow. now they've got another. They could actually get the bomb down here, Chad. Look at the flash. It's so perfect. Dexter can't deny the plan, but he can take two of the three on the sight. Linus, another from his Deeg. Three HP, but he puts Dexter on his ass. There's still something to be said about this. They've got so much time, so much util. It should just be a formality. I can't believe NIP have made it this close. They want to the They should have him. Acorn misses, goes for the no scope. Now NIP have the advantage. Beamus are smoking a kit. That might be his best bet. He thinks the same. Time getting a bit sensitive here. Some stray bullets. He might have to hold it. Does fake it out. He needs them both. He needs them now. Linus trying to knife him in the smoke. He'll take one, but there's no time. NIP on an eco, Chad. 
Linus is Deagle, Plopsky as well. They'll snatch a seventh. That's absolute daylight robbery. Oh, this first half now, you reflect on it for Mouse Sports. They have lost two rounds in similar fashion. The Hampus Deagle with multiple openings in the third round of the game. And here, as they had just taken control of the economy late, they were setting themselves up for what could have been a 9-6. They fumble. They fumble in a big way. What a round to lose right here. This could completely change. NIP can now walk away with the eight. Their buy is much better. We got an MP9, we got a Deagle, two Famuses, and sure the AWP's out here, but that's a big one to drop. Yeah, that's gonna really leave a mark. Mousewall's gonna be feeling the brunt of that one. Hampus up to his usual antics. He's very stubborn on his mid fight, frozen with the flash. This time Hampus ready. Dexter peeks out, so he knows a little bit more about the setup now. Rob's aggressive in the halls. Duking out with Rez. Yeah, Rez here. Looks like he's aware of something. The jiggle. Oh. Rez knows. And Rez converts. Number advantage here, HP advantage as well. Dexter's still low. He's had to rotate over towards this A site. They're very susceptible all across the, ra the map right now, Mal Sports. Oh, well, one clawed back as devices look to pose and prod and get some info on B. Another body dropped on the B site. That's going to propel them into A here. Rose with a lovely little off line goal and keeps them distracted for one. Dexter another. Hampus should be set for this first onto Dexter, but is he for living space tonight? Maybe on an aeroplane. Maybe you're watching live on an aeroplane. If you are, let us know, because that sounds pretty damn cool. How are you, how are you doing How that? have you done that? Especially live. All right, well, this is uh, quite an interesting CT setup. Three towards Cave. A dude, an armored CZ. I, oh, it's not this even armored. This is going to get juicy. But it's a very good pistol for that jewel. Blobsky. That's a little bit uncomfortable, bro. He's been run down. Maybe that'll bait them in. He got left hanging he there. He really did. They fully just abandoned See ya, bro. Yeah, now there's more to be done. Rez has got issues, and Mouse was looking set for this pistol. Looking to go two for two in the pistol round. Oh. Nice recovery out of Linus. He's handed Hamper something at the bare minimum. A kit, two frags available. And that's all he'll get. Mouse sports. Okay, 100% of the pistols. Let's see if this time they can have the conversions, Chad. Well, they'll probably convert against the force and then they'll lose against the uh, light yes. pistol upgrade. That, that just right. seems to be how uh, this one's going there. But that's crazy that they just left Plopsky hanging like that, that he was the only one thrust so far forward. I would think with a cave stack, you would want to really fortify that position. But NIP had other plans and so did Mouse sports. So here we go. The force fight for NIP. Let's go a scout in play for Hampers. D was for the rest. Another in-game leader on the second round scout. Yeah, I think, you know, there's a couple of good positions that you wouldn't mind seeing the scout in here. Mid, if it's not smoked. Donut, not too shabby. Uh, in the A site, there's a bunch of different positions you can use that from. But if they keep your smoke like this, you can have a hard time finding a whole lot. And I think Dexter and Hampus are both in-game leaders who uh, think that mid control on a map like Ancient is integral. Right? You're going to see it reflected in their play, Plopsky. There's a chance here, Acor just on the other side. He's in the foot, and that's all he needed. The boots are too big for Plopsky right there. Yeah, he's got his clown shoes on this morning. Not even going to the circus. It's a mistake. Only make once. That was an interesting angle adopted there by Acor as well, so maybe not something that Plopsky was too aware of here. Jacob sticker? That's a proper throwback. Oh, yoish! And uh, that is quite the headshot out of that bus. What was that? Through the door. I haven't seen one of them. We're going to get scouts playing it like Dust 2 soon, just left and right strafing, banging through the doors. That was a nice shot, but I think he's going to have to do a lot more than just that here. They're coming in towards B and he's about to be smoked off. Oh, the tag, not yeah, bad. Yeah, it's something, isn't it? Unfortunately, none of his teammates are nearby to build upon it. All right, maybe we'll just call this one done then, because uh, Mouse is fortunate. Once they get this bomb down, 40 seconds thrust onto the clock. Rez and Linus heading all the way over towards A main. Device just hanging around to see what he can find. And that Galil is going to be worth its weight in gold in the next round. So holding on to what they have right now, quite important. But the 1x bet odds, I think they had shifted and they were favoring NIP right for this one now off, the, off that first half. And as we were talking about, this can be quite the CD-sided affair of a map. But like, like I'm saying about Dexter and Hampers, both thinking mid is a priority. They approach these maps, I wouldn't say in a similar way, but you have to have a, a, a similar philosophy if you think that it's a, a big piece you, of real estate. Do you suspect we'll see the same util set on the gunnies? Uh, I don't I don't think so. Uh, I, they, they very much could do. 
I think the mouths operate a little bit differently. They go, uh, they go about getting their mid control slightly differently to how NIP do. And I don't think the like, NIP get it straight away, right? Like Hampus just runs straight out through. You will extinguish your Molly. He'll just take that space. That's a lovely shot again. Right. Yeah. Well. Yeah. yeah. He, I mean, it he happens. You saw that one coming. So <laughs> it happens, I guess. Who's going to be the only one having a stomach no upgrade here? I think it will be Plopsky. So everybody else with the Deagle has a decent chance here for NIP, right? Linus even has a kit and a smoke currently. So let's see how expensive they can make this one. Back over towards B. Three Pretty players getting lane. From Mr. Device. And now he's got a moment to try and tip the scales in favor. It's one Galil up against five rifles. It's Are they going to bring that boost out? We've seen it quite a bit, right? If you boost in this corner, when they run in, you can get a bit of an angle. But I guess they're waiting for the commitment. The Nadon threw a little bit shy. They are coming. Oh. oh, we okay. So Res is really that's gonna that might inside the execute. Mouse spots are coming. Device to be boosted, I thought. And Linus again, good for the damage on the Deeg. He's consistently putting his name in that the feed noisy. on these buys. Loudly did drop off. Ah, Bemos is just wormed under that smoke, and it's fading now. Should see one here onto Robs at least. Return of fire not there. Plopsky even spotting him out. Mouse sports are losing another one, Chad. Surely not. He's got time. He's got health. He's even got Bemis by his side. Not for much longer. And now frozen up against the entire squad. Bullets just chipping away. And eventually the war of attrition is won. And look what they leave with. Oh, Disaster no. strikes in round 18 for Mouse Sports. Uh. Let me and see I, that Res D, because I think it, it was just a blind little counter strafe magic. Oh, he's used magic. that smoke against them. Oof. That was their grenade that didn't go deep enough. And he, oh, you, Lord. Everyone hit him. Absolute bangers of shots right there. Yeah, look, Mal's are going to buy. Acor's gone into a Krieg here. Cannot get the AWP out. Util is super light. NIP have only won eight rounds. Three of those eight rounds have been Ecos. You just have to get Linus on a D. Stop giving him rifles. Give the man a $700 pistol and the round is yours. They are already up B. There's a lot of ground covered here. A lot of ground. Linus caught out. Plumsy's going to have to do so much and they ask too much of him. One and a half. It ain't enough. See you, mate. Bemis confirms our suspicions and this is a one way to solve things. A quickie. Straight yeah. into the site. Look, I think if you're NIP, you got that eco, so you're not feeling as bad as you possibly could be right now. You can buy in that next round of play, so it's all good. But just to lose to that pace, that was just very quick. Just contact up long, take the fight. You can see Linus, with his peak a little bit wider, he's not ready for that, right? He wasn't peeking out with intent there. He wasn't expecting to be pushed up so quick. So lovely shooting there from Bemis, continuing to have a bit of a showing here. 21 kills for him was a force over towards that Lamps position being a real nuisance for the likes of Plopsky. And yeah, if you take a look where Plopsky is right now, he's sitting at seven kills. So it's Rez with 16, Linus, the rookie. He's uh, managed to get 13 to his name. You'd love to start seeing a little bit more out of, you know, the devices of the world, the hampers of the world here on the CT side. Yeah, I mean, look, if you've got Rez and Linus online, give me one more. Hampus device, you've got yourself a competitive ninjas. Even Plopsky, right? We had saw him have a one or two good games, but he was another player that, you know, is in question of where is he? Because there was for the longest time Plopsky when he came into this roster, it felt like he, he had some legs to Dude, it. Dude, I remember when Plopsky was the more impressive than Brolin. You know, like that sure. was the conversation. It was the battle of the two new rookie Swedes and Plopsky was my favorite of the two. Double Molly from Maus. Double orbs as well from NIP. Yeah, okay. So a couple of interesting ones for mid take here. Frozen's on his way straight in. And oh my God, device on the repeat. That is so brave. They're coming for you, bro. Takes down Beamers. Can't quite fall in time for a third, but that's that second orb. Fires off a warning shot across the bow. Frozen left with just a scrap of health. And are they gonna commit? That is the question. Rez set for success, clears out Rops, and yeah, Mouse Sports with very little left now. Acor and Frozen, you've got Donut, but it's looking far from appealing. What's an unappealing Donut? Full of the, the jammy ones. They're, no one wants like a classic jammy Donut anymore. It's not the 1950s anymore. You're right. But you know, a give good me some warm cinnamon exotic, Donut goes a long way. Oh yeah, custard cream in the center. You've got my attention. Dunkin' Donuts. That's a, you know, someone could sponsor this map. Yeah. The donut position brought to you by Krispy Kreme. There you go. Let's see. We'll get them involved. For every single position. Get them on the phone. <laughs> 
stocks. Today's. Because someone from sales is listening and they're actually just licking their lips at the idea of all the commission. Or the free donuts. Yeah. One of the two. We're here in the man cave brought to you by <laughs> Old Spice. <laughs> All right, well, I feel like Bowser are trying to hide and save in plain sight here, just seeing if they're being aggressed upon. And I'm sure if you're NIP, you'd love to get the double orbs back out. Hampus will be able to drop in the next round of play, so it's not the end of the world. And NIP will respond after that gun round loss and find themselves now with nine. So just two rounds you know, between Mouse Sports and the Ninjas. I think that's what we we're expecting coming into today, right? We didn't know what type of matchup we were going to get. We didn't know exactly who the favorite was. Both of these teams quite level. Uh, you, you go back and reflect at what happened in IEM Cologne as well. Here was the opener for the device. The second one was, was great, right? If he only gets one and goes down, maybe, just maybe, Mouse Sports were able to press forward. Rez here smoking himself off in Temple, just isolating a single fight, and there you go. That's the frags. That's the round. Yeah, well... Called upon, he does deliver. Device with an impactful round for the ninjas and, and at crucial juncture as well. Rock's teaching us all that stop molly mid. Hampus with his own. So they exchange and battle for control. Quite a quick one. Very, Very quick. quick. But Plopsky's done well. Just pulls the trigger completely blind and catching Beamer's clothesline. This is a setup in mid now. Look at this. I mean, this is what everyone dreams of in their CT setups. Do they keep re-smoking that L-Bend or are they happy just to have Hampus considering it? In which case, Rez is ready to deal with anyone that walks up ledge. Damn, this setup is perfectly designed to house what Mouse have got. And if you look at the radar right now, it looks like they're completely trapped on in. The only way would be back through spawn. So they have to be careful with all of these peaks. Rez is waiting. 17 kills. I'm sure he wants some more. If they go for the B exec, Hapus is going to be there immediately. Linus and Device are on the site. Plopsky, he's rotated over towards A right now, but it won't be too long before he can join the squad. This is going to be a tough one. Dexter, yeah, I don't envy him trying to call out himself out of a 4v5 with this setup up against him. So they start and return to cave. I mean, Linus and Device are very passive. They are vulnerable to being smoked off, Chad. I feel like they're giving them the sight right now. This okay. almost spe spells a bit like a retake setup, and double orbs on the retake won't be easy here for NIP. Yeah, Molly looks well placed. Hampus' flank is coming now. Device potentially onto Acorn. Hampus pushing in now, and Robs clears him perfectly. Perhaps Rez will be the element of surprise they've been looking for, and a barrel spotted. Still hits the shot on the AWP. And they look to hold this back from Cave. Oh, Dex is kept on the pillar now, so he's... Oh, look at that plant spot. We'll come back to that. We'll come back to that in a second. Let's see if it comes part of parcel of this round time. Ticking, Rez, dueling with that Krieg. And that's the end of that. Plop, he's had enough. Solid recovery now from Mouse Sports, as it didn't look favorable, but a couple of well-placed smokes and... That double up retake, as you outlined, just not the one. The fact that they were able to get through Cave so easily right there, they were ready for Hampus' flank. Yeah, no way back in once that bomb's gone down, just smoked up, well handled here from Mouse. That's a very good round to win because they just stuck to their guns. We saw for what, the better part of 30, 40 seconds, they just stayed in limbo, right? They weren't aware if anybody had pushed T-Spawn, but they knew that there was some form of aggression across the map and they didn't put their head into the vice that was that Hampus res mid set up here. And this is the kill. And Linus relegated to the Famous and here we go. Quick smoke out of Spawn over towards Cave and Molly as well. They've got that from a bunch of different angles, don't they? Over towards the ledge position. That'll stop any aggression from mid. Jumping on up. It gives Frozen a BMAS a little bit of a buffer here, but important round for NIP. Important round for both teams. Money teetering. Yeah, this could be a very big indicator as to where our ancient game will go. First game of ESL Pro League's 14th season playoffs. Both of these teams have had somewhat of a limp despite securing that playoff spot. A pot shot from Rez, and there is a bit of mid control now for Mouse. So Dexter, he can tick that off his list. Yeah, and I think here, as long as they don't go for the same flash maneuvers, which we haven't seen NIP do similar flash maneuvers out mid like Mouse do, they know that they can hold onto a lot of this space. So pressure over towards B again. Device and Plopsky in cave. Linus with a, a lot of pressure on his shoulders. If he lets them slip long, this cave setup becomes susceptible to the flank. Yeah, and I'm so convinced if you can, as you discussed, maintain that ramp. Orps here should have a field day. This is a fight that Device <gasps> is molotov out immediately and call it quits. What a lovely piece. What a piece. molly that was. It completely cancelled any power Device had. This is great from Mouse. Look at this, exploiting the tendencies. They just need to be ready for the Hampus flank. That's all they have to be ready for. 
And perhaps they're not. So many backs turned. He steadies his aim, takes down the Orpa. And as it fades, oh my god, a brawl. Even exchange, it does favor Rops. He got the pair. Bomb to be planted. Device had to hit that one. He puts the bomb back on the 15. floor. And with only 15 seconds left, he could hit another one for the denial. Oh, oh not far just off. shy of the mark. Bemis will get it down and retreat back to that ramp side. Two orbs, but still through the smoke, they strike. Only frozen, and he's caught on the advance. Wow, great recovery from NIP. It looked like Mouse Sports had them dead to rights there. Some of the util, I love the molly onto device. <laughs> Isn't it crazy? In back-to-back -back rounds, the team that we thought had the cooler play or the cooler yep. setup actually ended up dropping it, right? Yep. The devil was in the details for both of them, but... Oh, get stolen away I there. I will say, though, the smoke shot res hit. If that is a completely blind, like, a well, Hail Mary, I hope so. He's so lucky. I yeah, mean brought down just that 2.1k mark. So you guys do the math. That's going to give him 4,000 in the next round. Go for a Galil, go for an AK. At least now they can keep things slightly more interesting with a few of these upgrades. NIP kept it very interesting on rounds like this on their T side. And Hampus was a part of that. Is he really going to fight? And that's an AK delivered. Express shipping. Rez has to hit that and better survive. They could run him down, but now the AK's in play and I don't know where it's gone. There it is, thrown over to Dexter. So it's it's got a little something. It's got, you know, it's a little more than just milky cereal. Yeah, I feel like they're playing retake B, right? You can see this setup from uh, from NIP right now and they can play both orbs over towards A. This is fantastic, right? In tandem, just a shot at a time. You get offered up these kills, one into donut. Oh, and one into main. Rez here just searching, seeing if he can find the smallest of gaps. Rops with the bomb will be coming through that A main position, but you need Dexter on this AK to crack a skull. That's a nice little lurk smoke there that they can advance behind. Yeah, kept at bay for the first six. And Sandery just now times out. 45. Dexter to rat around the smoke, hoping to slip through. Rez not going to allow that to happen. And oh, nice shot. Deeg perhaps opening up the playbook a little here. Equals been caught, and that cross is just held. Plopsky, long range on that M4. Good recovery. They will maintain at least one of the AWPs. And the visor's back in play, Chadney. That's a different room, isn't it? It looks different. The room there in the other day was quite large. There was a lot of space. Maybe there was once couches they're everywhere. Room and one's their official room. Okay, so during the group, they were just pracking. Uh, yeah. And like now maybe they're... There, was a, there was like a whole fruit community vibe. I don't know why fruit got involved. I was going to say fruit bowl. Like bananas yeah. and apples. Okay. That's what I'm talking right. about. Caffeinated beverages. Well, that is that utility set you were talking about. So there it is. Rob's deploying that aggressive mid play here. Hampus is nuts. What's he up to? And he is behind them. Strikes into one, maybe two. Hampus, you got any more for me? <laughs> I mean, that's just such a kick in the groin for Maus. He's there again. Like, I think the comms are, he's there again. But that's it the first 15 seconds of this round right now. And now Maus was, take a look at what's left. That piece of utility, that Molotov thrown out, that is the last bit they have to operate with. It's just the guns. It's just the AWP on Acor, the AKs on Beamus oh. and Rops. They have to operate now from such a... Such a hampered position, all thanks to Hampus. Fun game. If Gambit conceded these two opening frags, would we watch them save for 70 seconds? At 12, at what about to be 12-12 with 2,400 into the bank balance in the next round? Yeah. They because would. next round there's nothing, yeah. right? 2,400. That's all that they're going to get as a loss bonus here, and they've lost another. Rez strikes. Acor's down. That was Orp an AWP. dead. Yeah. Ah. Oh, and condemned to peanuts in the next round. They're going to get hunted. Rops has dealt with device. A bit slippery. Okay. It's got an imposing presence now as you hear those footsteps loudly looking to close the gap. And off the flash, he's isolated a jewel, not so much. Linus keeps him in check. I, I think, like, if Rops could, a save would be great here. But on the T side, we spoke about this the other day. I think it was when Gambit were playing, right? And they saved an M4, but everybody else had to eco the next yeah. round. And then it throws your loss bonus out of whack here. So this save, you understand it. They need something going into the next round to play. And I think, fortunately for Rops, oof, it's him who gets to hold on to this rifle. So if we're going to look to anybody, if we're yeah. going to look to the superhero of Mouse Sports to step up, the, the star, Rops could be the player to find them a couple of kills here. So all eyes are going to be on him as we move into round number 25 here. But this one was over before it even began. A minute 45, Hampus is this close. Finds the first kill at a minute 43. The second at a minute 40. 
And there you go. At that point, you're already down two and you're having to operate from the back foot out the gate. So 12-12, we're all tied up. NIP are back in this and they can even take the lead right here, right now. You can see Frozen just having to stomach that one. It's all part of the dream career of being a professional gamer. You have to swallow those bits of pills. Hampers just outplayed and secured a very crucial 12th. Game on. Advantage and nip. Last time that happened, though, Mouths were very quick to return the favor. Boosted up on mid, trying to troll for any aggressive Hampus maneuvers, but turns out they've put a leash on him this round. Yeah, you can just see how passive NIP are playing here. They know what type of buy they're up against. It's scuffed. It's just this saved AK. So as soon as you identify where that is, well, you can either run and hide, or you can isolate Rops and make sure that one hits the deck. They are rotating back over towards the B-bomb site. Rops will be joining them. He has a smoke and a flash. So ideally here, it'd be great if Rops could use the smoke to smoke off one of the lanes, flash his teammates in and try and get the bomb down. Set him up for a winnable clutch scenario. Oh, that's the cue for a bit of a knee dump. Very oh, well good. Placed. Look at that. So much damage with their ears ring in. Mousebot start the commitment. One by one into the scope. Take your turn. Stamp your ticket. There you have it. Does not get easier and quicker than that. From the first point of contact to the elimination of all five. 13, NIP one away. Oh dear, and you can see right now, Rops has had to buy into a Galil, right? So already coming back to haunt them. I wonder if Dexter will be selfless here and give him his AK and swap it up with the star. But uh, this is where NIP can really change the tune here. Max loss bonus will be pl in play for Mao. So as long as they can get the bomb down, they can stay competitive. They just need to keep a little bit of pressure on the CT side of Con here. Double Molly's mid. They won't be disrespecting that, but waiting for it to fade. So here he is again, half us up to his old tricks. He can't get away with it again. We saw how much it frustrated Mao's the first time, and he's doing it again. They're not even clearing. They're not even clearing. They haven't cleared him, and he takes two. Does not expect a third, but the damage is done. He's already knocked them down, kicked them while they're down. And only two frags away from a 14th for ninjas. They just had so much confidence. Like Rez was just looking ledge from the start. Oh, did Beamus catch anything there on that jump? He could really level this up. We've seen the Beamus versus Plopsky fights over towards Cave consistently throughout this game. Well, he's got another man on the side of this. It's going to be Linus. Smokes him off for now. But you have a minute on the clock and you're in a two on four situation. And I said a plan. Yeah, that would give them a buy, but they need to get it down right now. There's not a bomb site that they can get into for free. Device has top mid covered. Rez is aggressive in A main. Plopsky and Linus are just backpedaling out of the B bomb site now. So I suppose there is an opportunity. But look yeah. at all the nades that they still have left. Like Linus still has a molly for the site. Like as soon as you breach, he can just molly the plant spot. And at that point, you're delayed. The rotation can come in. This would be some two on four. Mission bomb plant. Bare minimum. 2v4. Dream outcome. And Linus just holding that perfect angle. It worked so well on the anti-eco at 20 seconds. They'll have to do very well to clear all of these angles out effectively and diligently. A boost does look like an effective way to do it. They can kind of clear him out. And Linus ready for it. Adjusts and it's perfect. The best weapon for the job as well. Org in his hand. Gets a very clear view of that new boosted head. Juicy for the plucking. And no plant leaves them in this horrible oh, state of limbo. 3.9, 3.4. Rez, oh, wow. wow. A, a tiny slither of Frozen's top of his dome. And he like that. They just have to respect it. Uh, it's just going to be these pistols again here. So five dastardly deagles is... Oh, it's a smoke molly combo this time. Rounded Hampus. Here he is one more time. They're not ready for him. Why does it look like they're not ready? Bemis is, but... He's managed to take one with him. Effective stuff out of Hampus, and he's left Bemis on 12 HP. Deck around right now. Bad flash, safe angle. Plopsky set for success there. That's one to take notes from. Yeah, I think he gets his uh, own back there from the pistol with the CZ, right? Try that one. <laughs> got jiggled out and got absolutely wrecked. But there is a rifle to be scavenged here. Dexter wanting to see if he can find that, and he does. And this is just another situation where mouse sports early stages of the round start with multiple member disadvantage. We've spoken about the two on four. We've spoken about a lot of these situations where they're down. 
It's hard to see how they get into this. Yeah, I mean, this just looks unlosable. Look at the NIP setup. It, it is actually great, right? Rez is playing retake on A. Yeah. Linus has got the safety net of the red house push, and Plopsky and Device lock down B. So at this point, they, there's, there's a swing man for every position. Everything feels relatively locked. Be impressed to see you break it. Device has spoke next to their own to stop them maneuvering through it so comfortably. Flashed off the line, he will draw fire and attention. Dexter and Robs, one from Cave, one from the ramp, and now just one left. 18 seconds, the poor Salt, an entire squad to contend with. Plomsky isn't looking the right way, but he's very audibly heard. Device pushing in for this and will collect. So, that's three map points on their pick, and IP given the opportunity to secure this one. And we have Vertigo coming up next, right? So that's a bit of a curveball in the veto here. Right, uh, NIP opted to remove Nuke at the start of this one. And that saw Vertigo getting picked on in as a, a bit of a punish here from Mouse. Now, their Vertigo stats, I'm sure the desk is going to talk about it after this. We'll leave it up to them. But uh, life's going to be interesting for Mouse Sports going into the next map. Yeah, and I mean, yeah, we'll, we'll save it all for when we're actually on Vertigo. Why not? There's a lot to be said about that. Dexter charging out middle. Trying to catch a little bit of something summon. No aggressive hampers this time, right? So the one round that they're sending out there like a heat-seeking missile to find him. Nobody home other than that push just over towards A this time. Found him this time. Yeah. Found him. No hampers. No problem. Not for Rez. He'll be posting up for an aggressive Hall's play. It is a lot of pressure on Linus. And with an AK-47, he's going to have to hold a red room take. If Frozen goes late, three walking into Donut. This is the right setup, though, from NIP. If Rez somehow gets ropped early. Oh, oh, that's so good. And there's no one following him. So now Device focuses attention on Donut. That's the go sign. Acorn's taking him down. The crossfire's still established, though. It's a question of what Rez can get done. And Linus has done so oh, much Linus. work. Three when he's called upon and just about confirms the presence of Frozen as well. Line of stuff the incendiary. Oh, they could go down, but he takes another.